Well, it's a situation nearly every family knows. A big dinner and someone says something that sparks an argument and offends the host. That sort of thing's always awkward, but it doesn't even begin to describe what happened when Russian rock star made the most of his meal with the country's powerful Prime Minister, Vladimir Putin. And his very public dressing down of Putin's government has gone viral on the internet. It's just the latest example of how a government crackdown on dissent has forced protesters to use unusual methods. The ABC's Moscow correspondent, Norman Hermont, reports. It's another day at the office for Yuri Shevchuk. And when you're one of the biggest rock stars in Russia, this is the office, headlining the country's biggest music festival, playing hit after hit for tens of thousands of fans. This is what Yuri Shevchuk is famous for. But he's also known for what he did recently at lunch with Vladimir Putin when he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the notoriously icy prime minister. This footage from the internet captures what happened at what was supposed to be an innocuous sit-down with St. Petersburg artists. I had a phone call the day before yesterday. Shevchuk tells a visibly irritated Putin, probably your assistant, asked me not to ask harsh questions. At this point, Putin asks one of the most famous performers in Russia who he is. Then, in what may be one of the great awkward dining table scenes of all time, Shevchuk proceeded to launch a three-minute critique of Putin's government. I have several issues to raise, he says. The first one, what about freedom? Freedom of the press, freedom of information. Because what is happening in this country now looks like a thousand years ago. Putin looks stunned. Others don't know how to react to a rare public rebuke of the prime minister. The core of my speech was that patriotism does not mean self-admiration from morning till night. That is no self-admiration, but a serious, tough discussion concerning the internal problems of the country. That is what patriotism is. Putin was clearly not amused. He angrily rejected the criticism and accused Shevchuk of painting all police as corrupt. As the table looked on in amazement, the rock star kept firing back, with the two men trying to talk over each other. In Putin's 10 years in power, no one's ever seen anything like it. He has not been spoken to about that for a long time. That very much upset me, because there should be an opponent to each ruler, each government who permanently criticises them. But the situation is such in this country that there is no criticism. They won't listen to criticism. And because of that, the situation in this country is unhealthy. One of the reasons Yuri Shevchuk's very public confrontation with Vladimir Putin has attracted so much attention is that dissent of any sort has been squeezed to the very fringes of Russian society. State-controlled media gives opposition politicians almost no coverage. For those who do want their protest to get noticed, the more unconventional the method, the better. To see that in action, look no further than the self-titled Blue Buckets. They've been gathering for years to protest against privileged government cars equipped with blue lights that are exempt from road rules and send tempers flaring as they breeze through Moscow's snarled traffic. Using simple blue buckets to imitate the real thing, this has turned into one of Russia's best-known protest movements. This is just a community of people who from time to time get together to show that they are ready to fight for their rights, that they naturally disagree and they're ready to keep fighting. That is the key thing. The blue buckets may seem harmless, but that's not how they're viewed by the militia. It's not long before cars in this mobile protest are pulled over. In the past, drivers have been arrested. Now, the militia specialize in creating huge traffic jams to split the protest up. They deteriorated the traffic situation because they blocked the road, because of us. But unfortunately, peaceful civilians suffer as well. Recently, the militia had to tone down their reaction to these protesters. When they jokingly present the traditional Russian gift of bread, Officers simply look on as it's left behind. 
That's because the blue buckets are not only well known, they also have considerable public support. According to a questionnaire compiled by the president's administration, 68% of the population support the fight against the blue lights. That is really huge support, a lot for a deputy who might be getting ready for elections. There is protest in Russia. Just don't look for much of it in the political arena. Instead, it's on the roads and it's here with performers like Yuri Shevchuk. And the major thing, the more important for me than any fear, is my dream about free Russia. It is much more important than any fears. One should do something. We should make Russia free, kind, so that it can smile to the whole world. If there is going to be change in Russia, these are the citizens who are going to demand it. And when it comes to influencing how they think, between Yuri Shevchuk and any politician, it's not even close. Norman Hermont, Laidline.